happening? I am back from being off from my wisdom teeth surgery. But before we get into the wisdom teeth surgery story, don't forget to subscribe down below to become an official member of the Silence and Family so you don't miss out on awesome videos like this one. And let's get into today's story time video. On Star Wars Day, May the 4th, to be with me, I had my wisdom teeth removed at the hospital. I had four removed, and let me tell you my experience. Oh my God. So, on the morning of my surgery, I couldn't eat anything or drink anything, including candy and gum, after midnight the next night. So, um, that morning I had nothing to eat, nothing to drink. Um, so when it was time to get ready to go to the hospital, I went with my mom and when we arrived at the hospital, they gave me a, a bracelet because I was going to be there just the day of just day surgery. I wasn't going to be there overnight. So they put a wristband on me and then they took my ID, got me all ready and it turns out my surgery was supposed to be at 12.15 and it was like before 11 that I got in because I was the second person to get into the operating room. Um, the nurse I had that was working with the dentist that would be taking out my wisdom teeth was so rude. Like, she had no manners whatsoever. This girl was super rude and mean. She was rude in front of my mom and my grandmother. She kept yelling at me, and on the way to the operating room, I was crying because I had never been in the hospital. I had never had a surgery, and the only time I was in the hospital was when I was a baby, and that was no memory. I don't remember that. But other than that, I had never been in the hospital since then. So it was really scary for me. I was having mixed emotions, and this nurse was just being plain rude. She kept yelling at me to stop crying, and then when we got into the operating room, she was being really mean. She kept telling me three times to lay down on the operating room table. I was laying down the whole time, and I told her, can you not be rude to me? And then she said in a smarky, snarky remark, and she's like, and she's like, um, I'm not being rude to you. And I'm like, yeah, you are. You're being really rude. Like, I don't know who peed in her corn like that morning, but that was no excuse for her to be mean to me. So, but then, uh, the niece, this, the thing that's called that person that puts you to sleep and the other nurse was nice to me. Thank you, Lord. Um, when I woke up in recovery, I had a cut right here. They must have, like, put tape on my nose or, no, not my nose, um, on my eye right here or something, and I ended up getting a cut right here. I woke up with a bloody nose. My lips were all covered in blood. I wasn't feeling, I was feeling really bad. Everything was blurry when I woke up first from surgery, and I remember what I said. It wasn't all recorded, but I did ask where Harry Styles was. And the nurse said to me, sorry, honey, he's not here. And I'm like, oh, man, this is hot and cute. And then they asked me, do you have any pets? And I'm like, yeah, I have a chihuahua named Salsa. She's spicy. And they're like, she is? I'm like, yeah. And I was like, not completely fully awake yet. I think I was still blurry. And then... Um, at that point, I asked if my mom and my grandma could come in and see me, and the minute I saw them, I started crying, and they were trying to calm me down, trying to see me, tell me it's going to be okay, and everything, and, and then I told them that, oh, that rude nurse was still, was rude to me in the locker room, and I'm like, oh, really, what did she say? And then I told them what she said, and like, oh, that wasn't very nice, and I'm like, oh, no. 
so after I got released from the hospital, I felt like absolute crap. My face was a my cheeks were the were chipmunk cheeks. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but right here, I ended up getting a bruise. That's normal after surgery. You get after dentist surgery, you get bruised, and then I had another one right here. Um, my pain level was like a ten to nine and eight. It was really painful. Um, as I wanted to eat the foods I wanted to eat because the dentist told me eat whatever you want so I did and it hurt a lot um I tried eating chicken and baked potato the next day and that really hurt and the next day I tried eating two cheeseburgers and that really hurt um the next day I tried eating spaghetti that hurt a little bit and then the next day was mother's day and my dad saw me was going out for Chinese food and I tried eating it, and it really hurt. I'm not going to lie, it really hurt, but I needed to eat something because I was sick of eating soup and ice cream and jello and all the other stuff that you're supposed to eat that are really soft after your residency surgery. Because I kept saying, I want real food, I don't want no more soup, no more ice cream, I want real food. But now, my pain is like a 1 to 2. Last night was the first night that I was not in any pain because the medicine they prescribed to you is like T3s or moxicillin and I didn't need the T3s unfortunately because I wasn't in that much pain so I just took the other one and moxicillin and that was the only one that I'm on so it helps a lot with my pain. I don't need any more Tylenol, no more Advil, no more ibuprofen because I'm not in that much pain, like I said. But I feel a lot better. I'm starting to feel more like myself. My cheeks are not chipmunk cheeks anymore. Um, I'm not going to post a picture of what I look like, but if you guys want to see a picture of what I look like, I will have our Instagram name right here on the screen so from here on the screen I'll have it and I'll also have our Instagram name down below as well um I posted a picture on our Instagram of what I look like because I ended up taking a selfie so if you guys want to see that selfie it's down below name yeah it's down below or it's on the screen right here but anyway that is it for today's wisdom teeth surgery story um have you guys ever had your wisdom teeth out and how bad was your pain and what do you think of the whole experience? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, hi, I'm Brie. And don't forget to subscribe while you're here to become a member of the Sounds and Family so you don't miss out on the video like this one. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Somebody you know, to keep you she, 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 she